and your children and borrow stuff that only they can pay back. It's based on the notion that we don't go looking for a fight in this country, but we realize that the best way to avoid a fight is to be stronger than our adversary. And if we find ourselves in one, it's necessary to prevail because to do otherwise will make it a much, much more dangerous country for us to live in or us to, have to, to raise our family in. It's also based on the notion that we, we the people, decide our social policy in this country, not an unelected federal judiciary. And that we need a judiciary that will follow the law of the Constitution and not make it up as they go along. These are principles, and those like them, that have united us and made us strong and made us prosperous and unified as a nation for over 200 years. And yet, as unassailable as we might think they are, they're under assault today. They're under assault from society in many different ways. And they're primarily under assault in this election year and next year by a left-wing, big government, high taxes, weak on national defense, Democratic Party that's just salivating to take back power to lead us down the road of a welfare state, and we're not going to let that happen. That's what January the 3rd is all about, my friends. That's what it's all about. After all the hoopla is said and done, all the polls have been taken, which usually are wrong, by the way, if I check my <laughs> Iowa history for caucus polls. I look back at 1980 and 88 and 94 and things like that. After all that's said and done, we get down to answering a fundamental question. And that is, which man do we want to represent us to stand against this assault? Which man do we want to stand strong for our principles and our values? Now, I use that word man advisedly this year. Now, I'm an equal opportunity. I believe in the rights of all American citizens. I have a daughter that I fully expect to be back out here in Iowa running for president someday. But this year it's a man and next year it's going to be a man. I see nobody else uh, that qualifies uh, the president of the United States next year. Now, I'd be less than honest with you if I didn't say to you I think that I'm, I'm that man. I know that, I know, I know we're going into an era that's going to require strong leadership. I think we're going to need somebody who understands the glories of America's past, what we need to do in the present, and how great our future can be if we, if we do the right thing. How do you judge a person running for president? I say, what does he believe and where has he been? My beliefs are pretty straightforward. I've got them all laid out in papers. And there's a bunch of them. But among my core beliefs is the fact that we need a simpler, flatter tax system that you can fill out on this if you want to. Uh, I believe that we have got to save a Social Security system that's going broke in this country. I 